everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to upload a file to an S3 bucket on AWS without creating a temporary local, local file. Uh, I'm going to use Python to do this, so let's go ahead and just create a new directory. Uh, upload S3 file, okay. And now uh, we can, let's create a virtual, virtual environment, python3 dash m virtual environment and the name will be virtual environment. Okay. I always advise you to create a virtual environment and then let's, um, let's activate the virtual environment. Okay. Great. Now we can um, we can create um, the requirements .txt file, and we can create the script .python file. Okay. Now let's open all with VS Code. You can use whatever you want. Okay, let me increase the font size so you can see better. And now we can uh, start coding. So what is the idea? The idea is to go to get a file from a URL from the internet. For example, we can open this one. This is a file from the internet. We are going to download this to with Python using requests package. And we are going to communicate with AWS using um, Boto3. So this is official uh, AWS SDK for Python. You can use Boto3 with Python3. And requests will be used to download the file from using HTTP. And apart from that, you just need an access key and an access secret key. Uh, you can generate that going to your username, your security credentials, uh, you now can go to users and now you need to create a user that has um, permissions to write to an S3 bucket. See here, S3 bucket, full access. You, if you don't have this, you need to have, otherwise you, you will have a permissions issue and you will receive 403 forbidden. Um, then you come to security credentials after being in users, you just go to create access key and you have here your access key. Let's save this on our um, on our Python file. This is our access key and secret access key. So you need both of them. So this is our secret access key and this is the access ID. Okay, now you have the keys that you need so you we can proceed. Okay, so the idea is um, to use those. So first let's um, our requirements txt, let's import our dependencies. So we need Boto3 in this case, I'm using the latest version, which is 1.20.10 and requests, which has the version of 2.26.0. And then let's, we can start coding. So first of all, we need to import our libraries, import Boto3, import requests, and that's it. Um, don't forget about the warnings. Um, now we, we need to set up our bucket. So we can create a session using Boto3. So Boto3.session. Okay. And then it receives an AWS access key ID. And this is our key. 
ID. Oui. And it receives the AWS um, secret access key. You can check all of this in documentation of Boto3. And this is our key. Okay. Now, um, we create our session. Now we need to create the S3 resource. So S3 is equal to session dot resource and the name of resource is S3 bucket. That's it. Now we are going to need a, a URL. So URL where we should download the content. So this is the content URL. So let's save the URL here. And we need to use the request requests library to do a get request in our URL. And if the request dot status code is equal to 100, uh, we will upload the file to S3 bucket. Otherwise, we will give an error. Okay. So here we can do file content. We can extract file content from the request and it will be request dot content. So we can get file content here and now we can create an object. So the object will be the S3 that we created here. Okay. S3 dot object. And now we need to pass the bucket name. So in this case, we have a bucket called UD education ecosystem bucket and the name of your file. It will be Python dot PNG. We are downloading a PNG. So we can name it whatever you want. And the result of our upload. So it will be object dot put. Now we are actually inserting and the body will be our file content. So uploading and now we can print the result to see if the upload was success or not. And here we can also give an error saying there there was an error getting the file from internet okay and we can print status we can add status here without format and pass the requests dot status code that's it don't forget this is the bucket name and this is the file name inside the bucket okay so now uh, if i go to here aws if you go to your buckets i'm at amazon s3 you go to the bucket and hopefully we don't have any file we don't so um, we can try to run this. So we, we already have everything, Python 3, uh, script.py. Of course, it, it, why it's complaining? Because I didn't install the modules. That why, that's why I didn't have any IntelliSense here. See? So we, you need to do pip3 install dash r requirements at txt and it will install both of them, the boto3 and requests. Okay, now we have modules. We already have IntelliSense. So now we can just run Python 3 
script.python and a new file should appear here with our image. It might take a while, okay. We have our, this object is, um, is this one, this result. And we got a 200, which means it was a success. We upload to Amazon S3 and our date and um, that's all relevant data that we got here for now. So if we go to S3 and we refresh, the files should be here. And if we download it, it should be the same as this one. Let's see. We should be able to download. Okay. Yeah, it's the same image, right? So now, considering what you see here, now you know how to upload the file um, without saving any file and on, on your disk, you can just use your memory and uh, you can use both the three requests. You just create, set up the Amazon AWS S3 access. You need those credentials, of course, uh, and you need a new URL and you just made the HTTP request and upload the data using object.put. And if you receive a success, it should be there. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now you know how to upload the file to an S3 bucket without creating a temporary local file. I hope you enjoy and I see you in the next tutorial.